This is Shadea. This is Shadesh. Welcome to the online Bible study brought to you by Grace TV. He we serve bite-sized spiritual meals through Soul Food First. Please like and follow the Grace TV Facebook page. And please subscribe to the Grace TV YouTube channel. We hope you are ready. Please stand by. Season 3 of Soul Food First is about to be served! This is Pastor Din Padayag. Welcome to Soul Food First. Yesterday, we talked about the importance and significance of the conversion and calling of the Apostle Paul in this dispensation of grace. We learned that it is important and significant because letter A, to him, Christ committed the dispensation of grace. Letter B, because as a Hebrew, and a Roman in the same body, Paul was the perfect person to be the pattern and the proclaimer of the body of Christ. The body of Christ is composed of believing Jews and Gentiles in one body with equal uh, rights, status, and opportunity. Letter C, because as a Jew and a Gentile, he could preach to both groups of people. Letter D, because Paul was raised up by God as another or new apostle apart from the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. Again, the purpose is to proclaim the reconciliation of Jews and Gentiles in one body. Letter E, because Paul's mission, message, and place of destiny are different than that of the twelve. His ministry is not based on any law, covenant, or promise of the nation of Israel. Letter F, because the failure or refusal to recognize the Pauline gospel as separate and new revelation uh, and not a development from the teachings of Judaism can result to confusion and rejection of the blessed truth that Christ has given to us through the Apostle Paul. Letter G, because Paul is the only apostle who speaks of my gospel that can save the lost and edify the saints in this present dispensation of grace. When he talks about my gospel, he's talking about that revelation that the Lord Jesus Christ committed or entrusted to uh, him for us Gentiles and also for the entire world. Now let's talk about what happened after Saul encountered the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 9 verses 8 down to verse 9, the Bible says, Then Saul arose from the ground, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no one. But they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, and neither ate nor drank. So here we see that after his experience and conversion, Saul became blind. And so he was brought to a place in Damascus where he waited. The Bible says he did not eat nor drink. We don't know exactly the very reason why he was not eating or drinking, but maybe he just wanted to spend time with the Lord in prayer. And then in Acts chapter 9, verse, uh, verses 10 down to verse 14, the Bible says, Now there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. And to him the Lord said in a vision, Ananias. And he said, Here I am, Lord. So the Lord said to him, Arise and go to the street called Straight and inquire at the house of Judas for one Saul of uh, called Saul of Tarsus for behold 
he is praying. And in a vision, he has seen a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him so that he might receive his sight. Verse 13 says, Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much harm he has done to your saints in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priest to bind all who call on your name. Here we find that um, in Damascus, the Lord appeared to a Jewish disciple named Ananias in a vision. Ananias was a follower of Christ and a well-respected uh, believer among the Jews in Damascus. Christ told Ananias to go to the house of Judas and look for Saul who was praying. Saul was uh, given a vision that it was Ananias that will lay his hands on him and restore his sight. It was very obvious that at first Ananias was reluctant and scared. He had heard of the evil things that Saul did to the believers in Jerusalem. But in Acts chapter 9 verses 15 down to verse 16, the Bible says, But the Lord said to him, that is to Ananias, Go, for he is a chosen vessel of mine, that's referring to Saul or Paul, to bear my name before the Gentiles, kings, and the children of Israel. For I will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. God assures Ananias that he would be safe and that Saul was now converted. As a matter of fact, God shared to him how he had called, saved, and chosen Saul to be the vessel of honor uh, that he could use to proclaim the gospel or the message of grace to the Gentiles and then to the kings and then to the children of Israel. Christ also told Ananias of what Saul is going to face and experience in his ministry. Saul will be from being a persecutor to being Saul that is going to be persecuted and suffer for the sake of Christ and the ministry. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, the Apostle Paul confirmed what Jesus Christ said that he would truly suffer for Christ and for the ministry. The Bible says, Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, for which I suffer trouble. Again, here Apostle Paul is saying, For which I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even to the point of chains, being in prison. But the word of God is not chained. As a faithful and obedient disciple, Ananias eventually obeyed the Lord. And in Acts chapter 9, verses 17 down to verse 19, the Bible says, And Ananias went his way and entered the house, and laying his hands on him, that is, on Saul, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you came, has sent me that you may receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately there fell from his eyes something like scales, and he received his sight at once. And he arose and was baptized. So uh, when he had received food, he was strengthened, meaning he had his strength back. Then Saul spent some days with the disciples at Damascus. Here we find that by the laying on of Ananias' hands, Paul's sight was restored. And then the Bible says that he ate and he regained his strength. It is very interesting that Ananias called uh, Saul, Brother Saul. There is no doubt that at this point, Ananias had finally grasped that all these things were works of God. He understood that Saul just got saved and that Christ had 
a reason and a purpose why he called Saul to be the apostle of the Gentiles. Beloved, tune in tomorrow as we begin talking about the message of Apostle Paul. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your soul food.